All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with a new Life After Navy episode. In today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little YouTube-y, because I got my YouTube shirt from the Google store. So we're going to be reacting to a video that recently came out on the U.S. Navy's various social media stuff that's got everybody in a big kerfuffle about uh, what it's talking about, and it is the... Navy enlisted rating modernization announcement. So this is what's got everybody all up in arms, uh, myself included. So we're going to be reacting to this video and uh, going through some of the main highlights. So let's get right into it. The way we recruit, develop, retain, and promote sailors and Marines is absolutely critical to our success. We need a force that draws from the broadest possible talent pool, values health, and fitness, attracts and retains innovative thinkers, provides flexible career paths, and prioritizes merit over tenure. Okay. Seems I've announced okay several first. personnel initiatives over the past 18 months. Sure to have. address the changes in the workforce and improve the way we do business in each of these areas. Today I'm really... So it seems pretty good at first. You know, he's like, okay, cool, you know, you want to... Yeah, Prioritize merit or over seniority stuff like that. You want to do more flexible career paths You know stuff like that. Seems pretty okay at first. But let's get deeper Really happy to be joined by our CNO and our MCPON to announce an initiative to modernize our enlisted rating system This change will give our sailors increased opportunities within the Navy such as Like I said just kind of going more on what he was saying, you know, it gives you more opportunities within the Navy. Okay, cool. Right on. A higher level of flexibility in training and detailing and increase their opportunities when they transition out of the service. Which I think is really helpful because, you know, there's some rates that, <laughs> you know, you can't really do much on the outside. Like, for example, sonar tech, unless you want to work for a... Uh, Progeny or Lockheed Martin or something like that as a contractor or you want to track babies inside wombs not a whole lot of uh, Outside prospects, you know when you're dealing specifically with sonar But uh, you can weave in your electronics training, and that's how you mostly get your jobs. So yeah, anyway, let's continue In June we announced that we would develop a new approach to enlisted ratings to provide greater detailing flexibility increased training and civilian credentialing opportunities, ultimately communicating Navy occupations more clearly to the American public. You see, that's good. That's good, you know, because <laughs> I see a lot of people, when I try to explain what I did in the Navy, their eyes just kind of glaze over. It's like, what's a sonar? Is that, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so were you in like a submarine or something? And so effective today, we will do away with rating titles and it dude and there's the bombshell right there heard round the world RIP ratings what the fuck address each other by our rank seaman petty officer chief and so on this is the first step in modernizing our system and it is the absolute worst step. I mean, I understand that you want to promote more flexibility, but to get rid of the large history that those rates have had over the years. I mean, some of the very first rates, like gunner's mate, bosun mate, they've been around since the very inception of the Navy, and you're getting rid of all that history just to modernize the Navy. This isn't modernizing the Navy. This is basically turning the Navy into the Army. This is some fucking bullshit. But let's continue. Our new approach will be to track an alphanumeric Navy Occupational Specialty, or NOS code. Yeah, NOS. Very similar to a certain MOS. Yeah, tell me the Navy's not turning into the Army now. Much like the other services do now. And he fucking even says it! What the fuck, McPon? Today, there are 12 career fields that group the 89 Navy enlisted ratings. Those career fields, in many cases, are outdated. Moving forward, we will redraw the lines between career fields so that they make more sense with two goals in mind. 
first to regroup NOSs such that there is similarity between training and experience within the career field. No longer will you be limited to the opportunities within your rating. Okay, so this is, I, I don't know. Like, I like the idea of having added flexibility to doing stuff outside of your, well, what was once your rate. You know, I like that added opportunity so that way you're not focused on just in-rate stuff. But at the same time, you can't completely nix the rate, you know. If you just want to add, you know, more NEC flexibility or whatever, that's fine. But fucking nixing rates altogether, that's bullshit. Jobs available to you <coughs> will be better match your skills and talents. Second, to make sure these new career fields and NOSs translate directly into civilian skills. And like I said, this is kind of... Uh, kind of going along the lines of certain rates, you know, not really being all that applicable to outside job skills unless you're going to be a contractor when you get out or something like that and you want to work directly for the companies that provide the equipment for your rate to use, such as SonarTech. Something that future employers after the Navy can understand. Even if you are not thinking about your post-Navy life, trust me, it'll come sooner than you think. We recognize this is a large cultural change, but we need to move out on this now to ensure we are best positioned for the future. Mick Pond is absolutely right. These changes are not going to happen overnight and will take time before they take hold fleet-wide. We want to move forward smartly and ensure we do this right. Rating exams are not going to change right away and there will be plenty of discussion as we move through this process. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like, okay, so you're getting rid of the whole rating exam, or the whole rating system, rather, right? So, like, how would your exams be different? Like, would you, <laughs> would they have exams for your specific NOS? Fucking NOS ass wannabe. So it's like, okay, anybody who's a 0325 alpha, all right, come over here and take your test. Or whatever the fuck is going on here. There's a great deal of work to be done, and we will roll out the changes in a logical, evolutionary manner over the next... As in not roll out these fucking changes at all, because this is a stupid fucking idea? ...several years. Thank you, CNO. Thank you, McPon. In aligning the descriptions of the work our sailors do with their counterparts in the civilian world, we more closely reflect the nation we protect, while also making it easier for our sailors to obtain the credentials they'll need to be successful in the private sector. I'm convinced these changes are the right move to bring our Navy into the future, make our sailors more effective in their jobs and in their service. Okay. So we had to sit through that fucking slog fest. I am honestly pissed off about this whole thing. As, as a veteran, as somebody who is on, in the private sector, as fucking SecNav is talking about, Somebody who has transitioned from, you know, an enlisted sailor to a gainfully employed veteran, you know, going through school and all that kind of stuff. I'm honestly just appalled by the fact that they would do something like this to basically, basically as an excuse to turn the Navy into the Army. I mean, they've already nixed the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the NWs in favor for the Type 3s. Which I, I guess makes a little more sense, but it's still, it's like kind of an identity thing, you know? But it's just... <sighs> okay, so let's kind of break it down here, right? So the, uh, the intention behind this whole, you know, eliminating the rating system in favor of an NOS instead of an MOS, fuckers. The whole idea of basically turning this into like an NEC grab bag where anybody can learn something as long as they go to a particular school about it and stuff like that. It'll allow people to be more flexible and they can choose different uh, things based on, you know, I don't know, like, their, th not really their interest because it's not about them anymore. It's about what their command is interested in. And if they do particularly well at something, you know, then their command will send them out to a school to get a new NOS. This is just, like... 
I understand that they want to try to help people who are transitioning out to kind of, you know, put these military terms into civilianese, something that regular Joe Blows out on the private sector can understand for future employment, and that it'll also allow for more uh, opportunities outside of your rating, you know, to be able to do stuff that you normally wouldn't have done under the normal rating system, but at the same time to completely eliminate rates like I've been saying throughout this whole thing, it's just a compl it's just a it it's so dumb and so unnecessary. You can still do this whole modernization program without getting rid of the rates. You know, you can still be, you know, a sonar tech or an ET or an FC. You just happen to have a different. If you still want to go with the NOS code, whatever, I don't give a shit. But you know, it's basically an NEC. That's that's how I see this. And that stands for Navy Education Code, by the way. Same shit, right? So, you can still go through this whole modernization thing by allowing people to do stuff outside of their rates, get new NOSs, stuff like that, if that's the plan. I don't even know. This is all very new to me, so I could be completely off base here. But it just, to completely eliminate rates altogether, just seems like a very unnecessary step and it eliminates the communities that are established by those rates and just that sense of like I say community brotherhood whatever you want to call it and it completely eliminates a large tradition that separates the Navy from the army and other branches <sighs> Another reason why I'm glad I'm out, so I don't have to deal with this bullshit anymore. You know, I can be someone on the outside looking in. But still, you know, like my heart goes out to everybody who's currently in the Navy, going through this arminization of the Navy, and all this different bullshit changes. So, my heart goes out to you guys. And, uh, I guess we'll end things here and ask you. Yeah, you! Watching this video right now. What do you think about all this shit? You know, do you think that maybe they're in the right and that maybe we should do away with ratings in order to move forward with a uh, a new modernization system so that way, you know, people are allowed more flexibility within their jobs to do different things? Or is this completely flying against the uh, flag of tradition? So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below in the boopity boops. And with that said... This is the Andy Son. Signing up for now. Thinking you guys poop for tuning into this Life After Navy reaction episode and uh, for watching my other stuff. And if you guys like this, uh, th these types of reaction videos, um, I'd, I'd like to do more. I think it was kind of fun to do this. Um, a little new at it, so uh, <laughs> I think as I keep on doing them, I'll get better. But in any event, well, thank you guys for watching this video and for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, the working party sometimes. <laughs> and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.